My business started when we came here with half a dozen Gloucester cows, which we milked and made Gloucester cheese. From that small beginnings, we've now got a full-time business um, making cheese of several different types. And most recently, um, a lot of fruit growing in this area, and we grow a lot of varieties of peri pear and apples on the farm. We started distilling, distilling the fruit, and that's a very new business. When I first came to this farm, the Gloucester cow was almost extinct. There were 68 left in the world, and a group of us got together and determined to save them. Um, you've got other breeds of livestock, you've got the Gloucester pig, you've got uh, the Cotswold sheep, and then you've got all the varieties of apples, pears. You've even got the humble Gloucestershire black kidney potato. And that excites me because that's provenance and that's um, making things where they belong, not in a factory a million miles away where nobody knows anything about it except filling a pot with something. It's actually doing something that grew and grows out of this county. And, and that's what moves me. I work for the Farming and Wildlife Advisory Group as a senior farm conservation advisor and my job is to help farmers and communities to become more resilient to climate change through good land management, sustainable land use, supporting farm businesses, reducing flood risk and healthy living. I'm lucky enough to have a sort of really clear vision as to how everything could work really well uh, and that's really motivating and I'm very lucky because I, I enjoy working with lots of other people who have other expertise and bringing all that together um, and I really enjoy working with the younger generation and their, their, the innovation that's coming forward. So I think um, as far as I'm concerned I love what I do, I also love the connection to food and feeding people um, and uh, embracing all the best things about Gloucestershire food and drink and how that could actually be done in a way that could have multiple benefits for society. I started my longhorn herd and my flock of Cotswold sheep in 1976. So I've been here 41 years. We have about 155 acres. I've recently made a video to explain the effect that TB has had on the herd. Um, and I'm hoping that that will explain a lot to people who are perhaps unaware of the problem that we have and I think possibly it's underestimated by a lot of people. The film is on YouTube and you just Google Pat Quinn bovine TB a political disease. I had my 90th birthday party last year and I have to admit that really I've we've had to slow down. I'm very lucky with having Adrian Loka pretty much do all the work on the farm. There are a lot of things I'd like to be doing, but one has to ex expect, um, you know, a few limitations when you get to 90. It's very frustrating. 